Are you looking for a great gaming headset with a ton of features, as well as compatible with most gaming platforms, but you also don't want to break the bank? This is the Star Engine Pro gaming headset from Eska, and today I'll be reviewing this headset for you. I'll go over what this headset offers as far as what's in the box, features, aesthetics, as well as my experience with this headset, and in the end, hopefully will help you determine if this headset is right for you. Let's get straight into it. First up, what's in the box? When you get your Star Engine gaming headset in the box, it will include the Star Engine gaming headset, a detachable microphone, a foam cover for the microphone, a 3.5mm audio cable, along with a Type-C audio cable, a carry pack pouch, and of course the instruction booklet. Everything came nice and neatly packaged in a box, which by the way, super cool easter egg for any gaming enthusiasts out there. The headset itself does feel very sturdy with a metal frame but padded foam where you, it rests on your head. The earpieces are extra large to allow for comfort for long gaming sessions and are over the ear for increased noise reduction. The color scheme is nice and also allows LED when plugged in via USB. Overall, it looks and feels very nice. Next, the features this headset offers are quite a few actually. This does offer 7.1 surround sound, noise cancelling technology for the microphone, dual chamber drives which help to distinguish the bass, mids, and highs between sounds, gamer music mode which is able to be switched on the fly with the press of a button, with customizable settings through the free driver available for the headset as well. This headset is also compatible for all platforms, PC, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, Laptop, and Mobile. All these things are offered at a competitive price of $79.99 on Amazon, but there are deals and sales available for this headset. Now let's get into my experience with this headset because there were both good and bad aspects I have to share. Overall, I really like the design choices as far as colors, aesthetics, and comfort, but I do have issues with headsets that put their buttons or switches in weird places. All of the buttons or dials to adjust while using the headset are on the left ear on the back of the headset. This is a bit different from other headsets I've used in the past. I actually prefer having the volume dial maybe on the cord itself, so when you need to turn your headset down all of a sudden, if it gets too loud, you're not frantically searching for the dial. The other two buttons being next to each other don't help the same problem because what if you need to mute your mic all of a sudden while gaming? It's the same situation. The other function button is fine since with console gaming you normally are not swapping between music mode or game mode regularly or turning on or off your LED lights but the mute button and volume dial should be in a more accessible spot in my opinion. Overall audio quality is very good for both the microphone as well as the headset output. I normally use my Astro a10s for normal gaming sessions and this headset definitely had comparable results. If you plan on gaming for console either PlayStation or Xbox there is one thing you need to be aware of. I ran into this problem but I was able to fix it. You know when you're in a party chat and you have that one friend whose mic is constantly echoing? This headset can produce that problem. Here's how as well as what to do to fix it. If you plan on gaming on consoles you definitely want to plug in the headset into your console via USB rather than straight into the controller like most other gaming headsets. All the noise cancelling and audio quality settings are bypassed if you plug straight into the controller. I found this out the hard way. My friends would hear a screeching or humming sound along with an echo on their end, however I would not hear it through the headset. As soon as I plugged the headset into the console via USB, the problem went away. This may not seem like a big deal, but depending on your setup, you may have other things plugged into your console and limited on USB ports, external hard drives, webcam, etc. So to really enjoy the headset to its fullest, it's sort of inconvenient to not have all those features available if you plug straight into the controller. Now if you're playing solo or not in the party chat then this really doesn't affect you but I know a lot of gamers play with friends so this could be a deal breaker. Overall this is honestly a really good headset. Lots of great features, comfortable, good audio quality and also a great price. If they can work out the minor accessibility issues I had such as the volume and mute mic placement as well as having all features available when plugged straight into the controller this would honestly be the best budget headset I've come across. If you want to pick up this headset yourself, there is a link down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Star Engine Pro gaming headset from Eska. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next product review.